lovelies and welcome back to the channel today is a travel vlog slash come shopping with me kind of vlog if you're new here you are welcome please consider subscribing and remember to click on that bell notification icon so you get notified whenever we drop new videos all right so today we are going to middlesbrough we have been here a couple of times if you are an og on the channel you know we came to pick up our brp when we first came into the country but today we are just stopping by a popular um food store and it's called abdul i'll leave the address in the comment section as well as the description box come along with us we are in middlesbrough middlesbrough all right so just in case a few of you might be wondering we also have um african food stores or let me say nigerian food stuff sellers or um vendors in mid darlington as well but none of them are fully stocked or have reasonable prices like this one here in middlesbrough um i don't get to do this often but whenever i do i try to stock up and buy as much as possible to just last us um for a couple of months so this is the place we are finally here and i have been meaning to do a video on how we purchase these things this store is one of the fullest i've seen in the uk so far and they have quite the collection there's hardly anything you're looking for that you will not find here in this particular store all right so i'm just going to give you a quick walk around and also give you some sights and sounds um, in the store all right so whether you are looking for fruits fresh produce um sachet foods um noodles things like that you will find them here and they have quite the collection like i said before um they also have um seasonal items that they have from time to time that just um gives you a treat of home and you can just purchase and enjoy and it just transports you back into that space where you feel like you're back home but you guys let me not bore you this is what we got we started off from the entrance and we walked our way all the way to the back of the store they also have a butchery that we're going to get to at some point in this video and yeah that is what this video is going to be about So tell me, what would this grocery haul be if I do not pick up a box of Indomie noodles? Um, this is the brand I always go for. I always go for the onion chicken flavor. And that's just because that's the flavor that I personally enjoy. Um, and as well as my family. Um, they have different kinds of um, Indomie um, for different countries. I know there was the Ghanaian one there as well. So depending on the taste and the flavor or... Uh, for the specific country that you're used to they have something for everyone really so um we picked up a box of that and then we moved on to the um foods like um beans and things like that they had sweet beans which is like our oloin and they also had drum i was actually quite surprised to see that as well they had the brown beans which is like the taste of drum yeah so we picked up um the sweet beans they also had different sachets of gari pando um different types of gari in fact they had the ijebu gari the ghanian gari um you know it was just a lot they had different kinds of beans as well there was the peeled beans like the erwalo i showed you they also had the brown beans they had beans that i've never seen before they had the white eyed beans it was just a lot this one was specifically the only beans and that was the price they had pound of yam different sizes from 4 kg to 2 kg um, they had different brands as well um, some were more expensive than the others i don't know why they had something that i quite enjoy 
and it's like a substitute for um, amala. They had the cassava flour. There's like lafo. I don't know if you guys know what lafo is. And for fit fab as well, they had wheat flour. I picked up this big bag of them um, egusi as well. I was here. I was just trying to um, make up my mind kind of brand of beans I wanted. It really just boils down to your budget really because they're just different brands but the beans is really good quality so yeah i picked up one pack of the egusi and this was where i struggled they had different sizes of milk and um hot chocolate or hot beverage and they had quick out as well they also had terry lack well, you guys I had terry lack for those who had children and you know where i struggled was where this peak milk and this needle milk was the same you know back home these things are usually not the same price how would they be the same price it's just like they were just forcing to pick it up but anyways my husband had to make that decision because i was not up for that kind of frustration anyway we picked one i think it was the pig milk we picked eventually and then we moved on to the other sections um and that section that i really enjoyed was this um you know underneath the section they had fufu and you know palm camel palm oil based for you know different kinds of soup they had i didn't know they had this kind of section honestly so i picked up that one then i saw something that i haven't seen in a while it was this ginger drink and this thing got me through you know my first pregnancy really i love the fact that you know i could see this drink here and I just bought it. Um, they also add uh, this nice crayfish seasoning. I like to put this one in a for you and you know, look how dishes like when I'm making concussion and things. Yeah, so this one I decided to get because you know my vegetable soup is usually not the same without it. I don't know, people use different seasoning for different kinds of soup. I'm one of those kind of people. So yes, I picked up one pack of that one as well, and then I went to the palm oil section, and this was where I was looking for a specific product. You see this Mama Heritage? There was one that I finished using, and it was the Nigerian Heritage one, and I just had to find that specific brand. So I had to sort through this entire rack, and thankfully I found it behind behind all of this palm oil. So yeah this particular palm oil deserves some accolade because it is really that good it doesn't give an aftertaste it doesn't coat your tongue after you've had it it's just really good i recommend this product and it's like two liters and the price was like four pounds or something and then i was tempted to pick up this plantain chips they said it was three for two pounds fifty but i just decided against it like i have to be i have to be prudent or else we spend all the money I saw Goldie I'm like, no, I'm not going to start this student or something that I, I cannot finish, I cannot maintain. So I decided to leave it. And then we got to the veggies slash fresh, fresh fruit section. I saw Rudo and all these things. You will notice that throughout this entire purchase, I didn't buy anything like peppers and things like that. And that is because I already had them in my freezer and I didn't have much space to keep back stock because i know i can always come back here all right so they had different kinds of tomatoes as well if you are picky um the kind of tomatoes you like and there's one thing i saw i saw tete <laughs> this is like our greens like nigerian greens but it wasn't looking fresh enough and besides i was like <laughs> i know i can always get it here so i left this as well see you guys i had to just be prudent to this uk because i cannot come out jbc I can't implicate myself. Uh, our bottle is from Nigeria. Where we used to live. <laughs> it's from what? Nigeria, where we used to live. <laughs> Children, we, we will shock you. What is that? I don't know. We are YouTube channel? Yes, YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. Money is good coming? Yeah. It's yeah. alright. The yeah. money is good. Yeah. <laughs> and there's this man that was asking me about youtube as well yeah so this was like the best looking yam among the old collection 
but I still wasn't convinced that it was good so I decided to leave it and then the price was ridiculous this one yam was like 5 dollars which was I, I just couldn't wrap my head around that and then I saw someone I recognized this looks very familiar what schools, you know? Huh? Schools or where you stay? No, I think it was during preparation for coming here. Mm. I think you, we did the um, COVID test together. Where did you do it? Lagos. Where in Lagos? There's just one place you can do. Is there another place? Yeah, it's the same place. Yeah. It's the same place, but we might not be around the same time. I did it in. When did you come in? Okay. I came in in December. For January, right? Well, for January, but that's okay, that's possible. Yeah, because I think I remember where I, where I, I met you now. How have you been? Good, how are you? I'm alright. What's your name? Tola. Tola. Alright. You stay here in Middlesbrough? Can you sell this place? No, just buying for the house. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I saw this freezer that had fresh fish and things in it, and I was like, okay, let me try it and check it out. Let me see what I can find. I had prawns already in my freezer, so I wasn't really curious or ready to buy these ones. And then I saw different kinds of fishes. They had like catfish, they had red snapper, they had just different kinds of fish, really. Yeah, I just glossed through because fish wasn't really on the back of my mind at that point. Because of you asking for basmati rice, so how much? Seller. Ten pounds, yeah. Seller. seller yeah. If it doesn't say seller, don't buy don't buy it. Spice. Spice and more spice. So past the spice section, they had more spice, you guys. They had racks and racks and shelves of kind of different kinds of spices. I decided to pick crayfish, two packs of crayfish because this thing is very important in my FOE but I forgot to pick you even though I was standing in front of it. I needed it, but I also decided to pick Oboroko as well. This is one um, condiment that I always like to put in my A4 and Egusi and things like that. And then I saw the freezer of fish. It's like people had already weeded it and it was just like scraps left. But I just managed to pick a few that were still good. And the fish was actually quite pricey, but you know, I just love the taste of Alara sometimes. I don't know, it's just me, or you know, you get fed up if you eat it too much. And then this is the butter, you guys. This is the area where you get your fresh meat cut to size. There are different kinds of meat and accessories of meat. There's shaki, liver, or more. There's head of goat, head of ram, different cuts of lamb and cow. There's different kinds of chicken as well. I bought one head of goat and had them cut it up. I was also trying to see if I could buy beef. This is something that I don't, I've never got before. But I was like, you know, let me just try it. So they cut up the head of the goat and packed it up for me. And then I decided to buy some other things, um, like fresh beef. This was the first time I'm buying fresh beef. Honestly, you guys, I cannot be forced or be compelled to do something really <laughs> that quickly. So they cut up the meat, and I also picked up some soya spice. Um, and um, some pepper soup spice as well and then they weighed everything and uh, you know that was it put put small he didn't put <laughs> i asked for jara these guys don't give me anyway a box of tatashi uh, is like 10 pounds and that wasn't for me, that was for a friend of mine. And I paid for my goods and we are back home. I'll just give you a quick rundown of all the things that we got. From the butchery section to the sachet food and you know, the things that we eventually got. Alright, so from this side we got this bag of cassava flour and this was £10.99. The sweet beans was 
um, the packs of crayfish was 12 49 a pack and then the uh, box of malt was £3.99 the Nigerian Heritage Palma was £7.99 we picked up this um, cream from one cosmetic store this was £18.99 and then two packs of this uh, Brazilian wool for £2.50 for the both of them the crayfish seasoning was £4.99 the pepper soup spice was around um, £3.98 and the suya spice £1.49 the whole egusi was £14.99 the pig milk was £9.99 the ginger drink was £5.49 the spicy fish or the okra was £5.99 as well the box of indomie noodles was £10.99 the fish that we got that one was £5.16 for these four pieces and then we got a whole head of um, ship and that was £4.90 pound fifty, and then the meat was nine pound sixty nine. So yeah, that was the whole list of the things that we got um for this whole shop. Anyway, you guys, that is our time on the channel today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.